Welcome back, history enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into the origins and legacy of one of the most influential civilizations in human history, the Roman Empire. We'll explore how it was founded, its deep connections with Greek culture, the ideals of a republic versus a direct democracy, how the Roman Republic operated, the social structure and the role of oligarchy, the architectural, cultural, technological, scientific, and political contributions of the Romans, comparisons between the Roman Republic and the government of the United States today, as well as the factors that led to the decline of the Roman Republic and the rise of the Roman Empire. So, let's embark on this historical journey. Legend has it that Rome was founded in 753 BCE by twin brothers Romulus and Remus, who were said to be raised by a she-wolf. Historically, Rome began as a small settlement on the Palatine Hill along the Tiber River. Initially, it was ruled by a series of kings, the last of whom was Tarquin the Proud. His tyrannical reign led to his overthrow in 509 BCE by Lucius Junius Brutus, marking the end of the Roman monarchy and the birth of the Roman Republic, a government of the people. Rome didn't develop in isolation. The Romans were heavily influenced by Greek culture, especially after the Roman conquest of Greek territories. They adopted Greek gods, giving them Roman names. Zeus became Jupiter, Athena became Minerva, and so on. Greek architecture inspired Roman buildings, leading to the creation of grand structures like the Pantheon and the Colosseum. Roman literature, philosophy, and art were also deeply influenced by Greek predecessors, blending to create a rich cultural tapestry. The Greeks, particularly in Athens, practiced direct democracy, where citizens voted directly on laws and policies, a system practical for their relatively small population. In contrast, Rome established a republic, a form of representative government where officials were elected to make decisions on behalf of the people. This system aimed to manage the broader and more diverse population of Rome, balancing the interests of various groups and preventing any single individual from gaining unchecked power. The Roman Republic was characterized by a complex system of checks and balances. The government was divided into three main branches, the consuls, the senate, and the assemblies. Two consuls were elected annually to serve as chief executives and military commanders. The senate, composed mostly of patricians, the aristocratic class, controlled finance and foreign policy. The assemblies, including the tribal assembly and the plebeian council, represented the common people or plebeians, voting on laws and electing magistrates. Despite the Republic's ideals, real power often rested in the hands of a privileged few, an elite oligarchy. An oligarchy is a form of government where power is concentrated among a small group of individuals or a particular class. In Rome, the patricians held most of the political influence, dominating the Senate and key governmental positions. The majority, the plebeians, were commoners with limited rights and influence. Over time, plebeians fought for more rights, leading to social reforms like the establishment of the Tribune of the Plebs. However, significant inequalities persisted. This concentration of power among the elite meant that the true Republican ideals of equal representation were not fully realized, sowing seeds of social unrest. The Romans were master builders and innovators. Architecturally, they introduced the use of concrete, enabling them to construct enduring structures like the Colosseum and aqueducts that brought fresh water into cities. They built an extensive network of roads connecting the vast expanse of the empire, famously stating, all roads lead to Rome. Culturally, the Romans spread Latin language and Roman law, which became the basis for many legal systems in the Western world. Technologically, they engineered advanced sewage systems, heating systems like the hypocost, and pioneered battlefield surgery techniques. In science, figures like Galen made significant contributions to medicine, while Ptolemy, though Greek by birth, worked in the Roman Empire and influenced astronomy and geography. Politically, the Romans developed legal principles still in use today, such as innocent until proven guilty and the rights of citizens. The idea of a republic with elected representatives became a foundational concept for many modern governments. Rome's early history as a monarchy ended with the ousting of King Tarquin the Proud, leading to the establishment of the Republic in 509 BCE. The Republic expanded Rome's territory and influence, 
but internal conflicts grew. The imbalance of power, social inequality, and the oligarchic control by the elite led to civil unrest. Ambitious military leaders like Julius Caesar capitalized on this unrest. Caesar's appointment as dictator for life signaled a pivotal shift. His assassination in 44 BCE plunged Rome into further chaos. Eventually, his adopted heir, Octavian, later known as Augustus Caesar, defeated his rivals and became Rome's first emperor in 27 BCE. This marked the end of the Republic and the beginning of the Roman Empire, transitioning Rome into autocratic rule with a centralized power under the emperor. Many principles of the Roman Republic influenced the framers of the United States Constitution. Both systems emphasize the separation of powers, checks and balances, and representative governance. The U.S. Senate echoes the Roman Senate's role, and concepts like veto power, civic duty, and rule of law are rooted in Roman tradition. However, the United States strives for a more inclusive democracy, aiming to represent all citizens regardless of class or status, in contrast to Rome's oligarchic tendencies where power was concentrated among the elite patricians. Despite the Republic's innovations, it faced significant challenges. The expansion of Rome led to wealth disparities, corruption, and social strife. The oligarchical control of the patricians often marginalized the plebeians, fueling discontent. Military generals like Julius Caesar gained immense power and loyalty from their troops and the masses by promising reforms. Caesar's crossing of the Rubicon River in 49 BCE was a direct challenge to the Senate's authority, leading to a civil war. After his assassination, the power vacuum led to more conflict until Augustus Caesar established himself as the sole ruler. The centralized power under an emperor marked a departure from Republican ideals, leading to the rise of the autocratic Roman Empire. The story of Rome is one of legendary beginnings, cultural amalgamation, and monumental contributions to the world. From its transition from monarchy to republic to empire, Rome's legacy is profound. Its architectural marvels, legal systems, technological advancements, and political ideas have shaped Western civilization. The Roman Republic's rise and fall teach us about the complexities of power, governance, and social equity. As we reflect on Rome's influence, we see its imprint on modern societies, reminding us of the enduring impact of history on our present and future. Thank you for joining us on this epic historical journey. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.